The story begins in Edmond at this house under construction a little after nine last Sunday night. Police were called here by the builder who said Matthew Burke was trying to steal copper wire. Burke told police he was actually a construction worker, just trying to do his job. But police saw through the lie. He was intoxicated as well, and they could have stopped there and just put the guy in jail and, and went on about their business for the rest of their shift, but they sent something wasn't right, there was something more going on. So police searched Burke's cell phone and found an alarming text message sent by Matthew Burke, claiming to have placed a Claymore-type bomb underneath this pickup truck outside another man's house at 1507 Lloyd in Midwest City. Police there found the bomb. It wasn't the type that's going to like level, uh, you know, a, a lot of things around, but it would uh, cause a big explosion. Nobody answered the door at the home where the truck still sits. It scares me. I, I see, I just lived two houses over from him here. Pearl McKinnon and says her neighbor, who was the target of the bomb, is 80 years old. People walking up and down this street all night long. She says she was relieved when she saw the bomb squad remove, then detonate. We heard it go off. The explosive device. We heard him say, fire in the hole, and then we heard the big bomb. And it was no firecracker. It was a pretty good size. 